So this tutorial is going to be how to draw your character for the puppet, and then you can, um, I'll do another tutorial on how to actually make the puppet for uh, a character animation. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is just do File, New, let will start with a new scene here, and just go ahead and choose the first thing that comes up, this HD 12 uh, by 720 underneath character animation. Um, oops, make sure it's Action Script 3. Uh, the rest of this is fine. I like to do 24 frames per second, and then we'll hit Create. Okay. Now we have this thing going on. Next, I want to do is bring in um, bring in uh, my uh, character. So I'm just going to do file, and we're just going to do import. Um, and I'm going to import right to stage. Why not? And it's just this thing here. So just uh, go right to your picture. There's my dude. And I'm going to do is just break this down into pieces so that I can um, uh, animate it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll double click on this layer. Oops. Where is it? There you go. Don't double click on the name because it will it will select the name. And let's do transparency. Let's do 25% and then I'm going to go ahead and lock it. Okay, so that way I won't be able to select it. And we'll actually, I'll rename it uh, reference. Okay, so I just sketched this in another program. Uh, I don't remember what, but um, so yeah, there's this guy. You can see he's a little leaning too, but we'll fix that afterwards. So he's just a basic character. I just want to take him and I'm just going to um, break him into parts. Okay, so uh yeah let's do that all right um all right so we need to make a new layer first all right and then i'm just going to go ahead and start uh drawing them up here so control plus let's go up here let's grab my pencil uh i'm gonna go ahead and it's gonna give me that and thing again i don't know why this keeps coming up okay it still works okay uh, and I'm going to go over, and I like to use this brush here because I'm going to do more of a, a line style um, thing. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do this. i got a better idea. Let's do pencil. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the strokes afterwards. I think that will be kind of neat. So I'm going to do more of a flat shaded character because I think that just generally will look a little bit better uh, in here. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll just start with, let's say, this torso. Um so this torso, I'm just going to make one big piece, uh, just this whole big thing here. So I'm just going to kind of draw a line, and then we'll just draw a line like so. And we will draw a line from here like so. And I think I need to go a little bit farther out. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase this here, and then continue this line around here like so. And let's, let's go a little bit farther out here, too. Now, you might notice I've been drawing in green. It's because it doesn't actually matter that much. Um, okay. And then if you look, there are basically, there's this pants line here, which I didn't do that good of a job with. So let's try that again. Okay. Uh, we'll, let's do it this way. I'm going to use the pencil tool or the line tool. I know this is kind of... I'll just pull it like that. And I'm just going to get rid of this guy and this guy. And then I'm just going to fill this with the fill tool. And so uh, I got that. I'm just going to hit the I, click on this, and uh, click. Uh, let's see. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, okay. So it's not filling. So I'm just going to go over here and do uh, close medium gaps. There you go. So that fills it in. And then I'm just going to again hit um, I and sample this color. Boom. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is uh, switch to the select tool, this guy, double click, I'm going to hold shift and double click, I'll just do it this way, I'll click and drag over the whole thing, so I got the whole thing here, and I'm going to grab, go to the stroke, and I'm just going to turn it off, I didn't want the stroke to begin with, that way the stroke's gone, but I still have the, um, the shape underneath. Now another thing you might want to do, because if you look, uh, let me turn this layer on, uh, off underneath, see how it's a little bit ratty, uh, let me get closer. So that's a little bit ratty here. You may or may not like that. That may be part of your aesthetic. Uh, generally speaking, I do not. So I'm going to go to the direct select tool here. I'm going to click on, there we go, click on this. Um, and then actually I'm going to switch to the pen tool, sorry. I'm going to go to the pen tool and I'm just going to do remove anchor point. And I am going to get rid of all these like extra ones that aren't really doing me much good. Let's see, can I get rid of you without, yeah. Uh, there's just a bunch of them that aren't really adding all that much to it. 
I feel. So we'll get rid of all these extraneous ones. There's like an extra one in there. And see, there's like, these are just kind of ugly. That guy, get rid of that guy too. He's going to make you cut down a whole lot more. We'll get rid of this one. Okay. Now you're going to be like, oh, that's too many. And you'd probably be right. But uh, let's get rid of you too. Okay. That's probably okay. And we'll get rid of that one as well. All right. So that might be too many. But what I'll do is I'll just go to the regular pen tool. And if I hold, let's see, Alt, okay, or Option if you're on a Mac. I'm going to turn this back on so I can see. I'm just going to click on this while I'm holding Alt, click and drag to try and get it to go over. And then I'm just going to use my direct select and try to shove that over a little bit. You can even use your arrow keys. All right, that looks okay. That's fine. Um, and again, I was hoping that could just hold that, but um, I'm going to hold Alt and click just to make sure that's nice and round. Alt and click, because this one was kind of a, oops, there we go, like that, and that's a bit of a cleaner shape, I think this might be able to move over a little bit, so I'm just click on that and use my arrow keys up and over, okay, and voila, now I got kind of a cleaner, maybe I can move this over a little bit using the arrow keys, good, and I got a bit of a cleaner looking torso shape okay so i'm gonna do one with no lines if you want to do lines you can you can even afterwards when you get done use the paint bucket here uh not the paint bucket the uh, ink bottle tool and i could click and i could add those back in okay so um but i don't want that anyways and if i want to later on i'll throw that in there but for now that's good okay so that's the torso and that's basically both the upper and um the you know the chest area and the pelvic area and i'm just going to take that and I'm just going to go ahead and convert that to a symbol. So I select the whole thing, get an F8. I think on a Mac, though, or at least on your Mac, depending on it, it might do, like, I don't know, screen brightness or something, which is really stupid. So if you just go modify, convert to symbol, choose movie clip. Um, it doesn't actually matter, but I'm just going to go ahead and do center. And I'm just going to do my character's name, which I'm just going to call him boy, um, underscore torso, underscore MC. Okay, so boy, because that's the character. If I have multiple characters, this is the body part, and then this is the type of um, symbol it is. It's a movie clip, all right? So MC, all right, Masters of Ceremony. All right, so then we'll go ahead and make another one, another layer, and I'm just going to go ahead and lock and make that one invisible, and I'm on this next layer. Let's go ahead and, yeah, whatever. It's going to rename it, but I don't feel like it. Okay, so now let's um, let's do a leg. So the leg, I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I'm just going to do one whole leg piece. Um, this time, let's go ahead and just use the regular uh, line tool here because it might be a little bit simpler. Oh, didn't realize I was on that layer, and I did want you locked. Okay. okay we're on the right one. Good. So I'm just going to draw a line. Ugh, I got this snapping on, so I'm going to go to uh, View, Snapping, and let's hit Edit Snapping and turn all these off. Okay. Sometimes it's useful, but not right now. Go like this to this, and then that comes down here like this. And this cuts across. Um, and hit V real quick. Click, delete, click, delete, click, mm, click, delete, 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 delete. Um, let's go like that. And then I'm also going to need another one. So I'll hit um, the, uh, what is it? This line is it N, I think. Yeah, N. Uh, and I'll just cut across again like that okay and then i'll just go back to the v which is the select tool up here delete delete oh and i need one on the top so i'll hit n again for the line tool and cut just like that and then go back to the v tool and i'm just going to round it out kind of like this don't even need to delete these outside lines because we're not going to use them anyway and then i'm just going to use my my typical little tool here i'm going to hit Control plus plus over here kind of pull this up like that and then we'll I'm just going to kind of round that out and we'll go like that all right and uh it's not great but it will work okay and then if i wanted to clean it up i'll just go to my direct select tool which is probably a is it a oops Let's see yeah it's a 
Uh, and then if there's extra points I'm going to move, I can do that like I did last time, but it looks fine. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my fill tool and I um, actually want it to be the same as the previous one. So what I'm going to do is turn the previous layer on and just hit I to sample that one because I don't want it to be a different color. If I sample in here, it might be not the right color. Then I'll do I here for the eyedropper, which is right here, like that, okay? And then um, I'm just going to go V, select the whole thing. You can also do this. Click off. I can just double click on this line, double click, and then hit delete. That will also get rid of it, okay? And now I can actually see with comparison to the other one, you can see I'm a little bit off. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this point here and just make sure it, it covers it. Control minus. Okay. That looks adequate. All right. So uh, there is one leg. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this layer back off. I'm going to select this leg and I'm going to control C. I'm going to turn this layer off, make another layer. Because the other leg is just the same thing, right? Now if you hit control V, it's going to put it right in the center of your screen. So you see how this is centered left and right. If you hit control shift V, it will paste in place. Um, a lot of programs are like that, not all of them, but anyway. So I'm going to go to this transform tool over here. And I'm just going to click and go like this <laughs> to scale it in the opposite direction. I'm going to bring it over here. And then you can see it's this way, right? So if I go up to the top here, I can kind of go wonk. And we'll go like that. And I'm going to click off so that it like resets it, kind of. And then let's do this. And let's turn this one on so I can kind of see it in comparison. I'm going to try and make it roughly the same. Okay. That looks all right. Now I'm going to uh, go back to my regular tool here, and I'm just going to kind of pull this one up, pull this one up, maybe squish this in a little bit, and vary it a little bit so it's not exactly the same as the previous one. You know, you don't want um, absolute symmetry. Okay. And... All right. So good. Now we have um, two legs. So... Um, let's see, uh, uh, let's lock and turn both those off. Um, actually, I'm going to go to the previous one here and I didn't convert it to a symbol yet. So I'm going to grab the whole thing and hit, uh, F8 or you go modify convert to symbol. And we're going to call this one boy underscore, uh, where's one, uh, left. So we're going to do L leg, right? So for left leg underscore MC. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and lock and hide and turn the other one on. And I'm going to do the same thing, F8. And it's going to be boy underscore R leg underscore MC. Okay. Boom, boom. Uh, now we got the two legs done. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got so far. So you can see it looks super great. Let's go ahead and do uh, an arm over here. So, uh, yeah, basically same thing as before. Uh, I'm going to go back and just do it with the pencil tool again. And let's see. Let's take the smoothing up kind of high because I want it smoother. All right. And, all right. So we'll go ahead and I'm just going to kind of, oops, forgot to make a new layer. New layer. Okay. Okay. You can see I made a nice smooth line. But you notice I stopped here instead of drawing the whole thing. Because if I drew the whole thing, it would smooth it all. And then it would actually be really broad. So I'm actually going to stop here. So it'll just smooth each one of these little fingers out. I'm just going to do three fingers. And then we'll go like this. And we'll go like that. Okay. Um, and then we'll... Alright, we'll call that good. All right. Oh, and we need this. All right. Um, you know, I think it looks fine. It's good enough. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to um, go to the paint bucket, which is K. All right. And then I'll hit I and sample my skin tone here and go ba-doop, 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 doop. Great. And then I'm going to turn on this layer and sample this color. Make sure it's all the same, right? Go back here and color in that. Great. Uh, then what I want to do is I want to erase all this, but I do have an issue where you can see I have these inside lines So I actually don't want to get rid of those. I only want to get rid of um, The ones that aren't you know, they're the, the outside lines not the inside ones. So uh, Instead of double clicking, I'm just gonna kind of click on these and click on that one delete 
this one delete 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 and I don't think that's really adding much get rid of that extra nublet there lots of nublets get out of there nublet okay yeah let's zoom in here get rid of that guy and yeah it's a little ugly I think it looks more confusing than anything else okay and then I think that's not all helping much. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just gonna click and drag. Even though it's not the whole thing, the only thing I'm trying to convert is this. I'll take that and then um, I'm gonna hit this little color up here, and then we're gonna I'm gonna um, shouldn't me. No, it's not sampling. Okay. So let's find like a nicer, more uh, like that. Okay, and then uh, just click off, and voila, now I got my inside color for that arm. Now, to do the other one, if you look, it's not actually a direct copy, so I can't really use it for that. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this up a little bit. It's getting a little messy over there. Let's control. So I have my direct select tool. I can also do it this way. If I just click on one and hit delete, it will also get rid of it. But it doesn't have the... Um, Convert tool. So I'm gonna go to the pen and I'm gonna hold Alt, click and drag, and I'm gonna hold. If I hold Alt with this one, uh, and I grab this handle, if you just grab this handle, well, I gotta grab it. If I just grab this handle, it'll affect both. God bless it. Get on there. Oh, you're really starting to be annoying. I, wow. Okay. Gotta be right on it, guys. Okay. It'll affect both of them, which I may or may not want. If you have this selected and I hold Alt with the convert tool. It will only do nothing. Not really. Yeah. All right. If I hold Alt with this, oh my God, it will do nothing. There you go. It'll only affect the one side. So that might be something you want to do. All right. Let's control minus minus minus. And it's good enough. I don't really care. Okay. We're gonna call that an arm. Uh, so I'm gonna make another layer, and we'll just lock that one. I'm gonna leave that one on though, so I can use this as a reference for the other one. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. Oops. I thought I made another layer. All right. That's this one. Okay. Okay, uh, back to the pencil, and uh, oh, and we'll leave it on that color actually. That way, it'll be right when we go to do it. Okay, so just gonna kind of draw like that. That's pretty good. I'm a big fan. Okay, that looks okay, and then. We need, uh, it's a little bit thick. There we go. And then we'll just kind of continue this. Oops, not went too far. Still went too far. There we go. Boink. Okay. Something like that. And then we need the line across. Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to V. Pull this in just a little bit. Then hit N back. Uh, we'll just use the line tool. And then V again for this, and good. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and fill it. I'll hit K, and then I'm going to hit I for the eyedropper. Click in there. Boom, there's that part. I'll hit I again. Boom. Click in there. Voila. Now what we're going to do is get rid of uh, all of these lines. So I'm just going to click, delete, click, delete, click, delete. Now you might want to keep the lines. You might want to do something else with the lines. Kind of up to you how you want to graphically make your stuff. Some ways I kind of like the lines, but oops, delete. And let me just get closer. Oops, that's the wrong direction. Is there a piece down there? No. Okay. All right. Good. So now I got another arm that's looking okay. Um. Good. Uh, now what we'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and take each one of these and convert them symbol. So we'll just grab that. I'll do it this way this time. Modify, convert to symbol. Boop. And we'll just call this uh, boy underscore L arm underscore MC. And then we'll grab this one, F8 this time. And it's boy underscore uh, R 
underscore arm underscore MC glorious and let's just go ahead and turn these off and let's do the head now the head I can do a couple different ways I could do the head is just one solid shape if I plan on just never doing anything with the head and just making it um, making it one uh, object that never like does anything I could do it all as one piece I could do it all as like separate pieces so I have more control over it um, it's kind of up to you how you want to go about doing it uh, thinking probably for this time you're probably going to want to do it because if I did it seven pieces I can move this nose at a different uh, speed than the eyes and you can make it look like the head's turning up and down um, but Imagine you're probably not going to get too fancy with it on yours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this head as one whole shape, but I'm going to draw the eye separately so I can just make them blink. Um, and then we'll just call that good. All right. So uh, we're going to go ahead and again use the uh, pencil tool here. And I'll leave it on peach. That'll actually be kind of useful. Um, and we will do that. So let's see. I think it doesn't really matter. We'll just kind of go. Oh, you make a new layer. Oops, every time it does that. Okay. So we're going to kind of go like this. And I'll kind of go like this. Okay. And then draw an ear. Uh, I don't really like that. Let's try again. Just going to cut that up a little bit. That looks terrible. All right, and let's go ahead and do an ear over here. Okay, and then um, he's got this terrible hairdo. And then we'll go this way. that and oh in the nose and we'll just do a mouth okay uh, do this too okay good enough all right so now i'm gonna do is go ahead and fill that so we'll hit k uh, k and then i actually need to sample one of the arms here so i'll hit i and I'll paint in there, and you can see filled in pretty good. Good, good. I'm gonna do the eyes separately, so that's why they're not part of it. And I want to get in there too. Oops, dang it. I keep hitting the minus, but I mean to hit the plus. So I'll hit V. I need to get rid of this in here so that I can get that in there. So that's K. Oops, V, get rid of you. Get out of there. Okay. Let's pull the. Uh, that doesn't look great. This mouth I did a terrible job on. Okay. Nose is kind of weird. Okay, control minus. Um, nope. So there. Okay. Uh, let's do the hair. So for that, I'll just I. Really let's go over here. Okay, control minus and K. Okay. And let's undo. So because I have medium, let's do close small gaps. That way it'll fill in better. Okay. And I don't want to spend all day on it because it's already been 23 uh, minutes. So we're going to call that probably good. And then I'm just going to remove basically all of the lines. Yeah. So let's do this. And I'm going to double click on this here. Delete. Double click. Delete. Double click. Delete. Double click. There we go. Double click. Double click. Double click click come on double click ah. nope nope there all right and oh these inside ones here okay there's another one there it won't they it won't select what's not connected so um, now at this point what I would do is probably clean this up a little bit more but for the sake of uh, speed and stuff not gonna do that. Oh, let's see, that didn't get filled. Maybe I can just overlap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, let's get rid of that guy too. Ew. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? I'm just going to clean up real quick. So we're going to do this. I'm going to select the whole thing. Control plus, plus. Um, and there's like just extra little nuggets I'm not a big fan of in here. So you can see there's just all these extra points that aren't really benefiting me much. Okay. Let's grab that. Come on. And there must be a handle. Is there no handle? Okay, so that I'm going to have to use this, and I'm going to hold Alt, and oop, go like that, delete that one, I'm going to hold Alt again, good, you can see it's just now, if I hover over it with the pen tool, why are you not, come on, it's adding, but it's not doing the subtraction. I don't know what happened there. Okay, we'll just click on it then. Delete. Delete. Okay. Um, but yeah, imagine I cleaned it up real good. Okay, so we're going to call that okay for that. So I'm going to go in my thing here. I'm going to grab the whole thing. We'll hit uh, modify, convert to symbol, or you can hit F8. And we'll just do boy underscore head underscore MC. Glorious. Boom, boom. Boom, and I'm just gonna do the eyes real quick so I can do them a separate piece here. Uh, let's do the pencil tool again, and let's see. Oh, need a new layer. Almost did it. Okay. All right. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Okay, no, well, lost them in there. All right, eh, that's close enough. Okay, uh, control plus plus, and then we'll go ahead and do an eye ball. Okay, and do another eye ball. And I'm just gonna. All right, great. Okay, and then for. I'm gonna do a little bit of. I'm gonna do a little cleanup here ahead of time because I've been getting a lot of like rattiness. Oops, not you. That and come on. Delete, delete. This needs to pull up into that. There we go. Delete, delete, delete. Looks like that's all good. I'm just gonna clean this up a little. Okay. Ah. Okay. So this is obviously not overlapping yet. Okay. Okay. And we'll get rid of that and this. Oh, get rid of you guys. Oh, that was not the one I wanted. Hmm. That's dumb. Uh, delete, delete, pull you over. There we go. Okay. Call that okay. Alright, so let's hit K for the paint tool. I'm going to hit I. It's okay for this guy here, the paint bucket. Color, color, I, sample, color, color. Um, and uh, what happened to my upper line? I didn't notice that I deleted that. So, alright, well. So back to paint bucket, and we'll go boom, boom, um, and then we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go V. I'm gonna double click on this one. I'm gonna hold Shift and double click. And it didn't work. Okay, and we're just gonna go ahead and make that black. Right, double click, double click that guy, and also make that black. And then we'll double click on, double click, delete, double click, delete. Working great. There he goes. Okay. And if we had the other thing on, you can see. Yay! I feel like it needs an outline on it now. Let's go ahead and add one. So what I'm gonna do is we'll go to um, this guy, 
and then I'm going to hit I. See if I'm different. I don't want it. Okay, that gave me that, but didn't put it into the bucket. Yeah. Uh, let's do it this way. So if you click on the color here, you should be able to sample it. There we go. So good. It's there. So let's go boom. Oh, it does the inside. Hmm. Well, we'll just do it and then I'll just turn it black afterwards. So let's do black and we'll just do the inside here. There. Voila. It looks terrible. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm turn this guy off and then we're just going to go ahead and grab these eyes. It probably would make more sense. So the idea is that if I have the eyes separate here, what I can do is I can actually go like this and see how that wasn't that cool? Hang on a second. I can go like this and real quickly go boinky boinky. It makes it look like he's blanking kind of. That's why I did it, but I don't know if it's even going to be worth it. So we're going to do boy underscore eyes underscore MC. Yeah. Okay. Bam. All right. Looks, looks like it's a thing. Okay, so, um, doinky doinky, and uh, if I were to pull this up here and unlock everything, you would see our guy. Let's turn this off, right? So that's what he looked like. He's okay. Uh, and the next thing I'll go ahead and I'll just make him animated. All right? Uh, yeah. So, go team.